I am officially in flat pack heaven. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to put together one of these. They look great in your home and they come in different colors and they're easy to assemble. So let's do it. Here's what you're going to need. Your flat pack, a spirit level, a cordless screwdriver, a hammer and a craft knife. So first thing you have to do is open up your box. I like using a craft knife, but be very careful not to cut any of the things inside the box. So what I like to do is take out all the pieces and arrange them before we start building. Here's a little pro tip. Use one of these or a plate to store all the small screws and small pieces so you don't lose them in the carpet. All right, so the instruction manual says we gotta start with our doors and put in the little magnet that helps them close flush. So as you can see here on this metal piece, there's kind of a ridge in the middle of it. That side you want facing up. That'll ensure that the screws fit tightly and are flush against the metal piece. Hold the metal piece and just use your electric screwdriver to screw it in. Step two, find the next set of boards. We're looking for four and five. The easiest way to do this if they're not labeled, which these aren't, is kind of match what the pictures look like. So you're looking for holes at the top with two holes at the bottom and one over here. These essentially are the side panels of your cabinet. What you're going to do then is screw in the magnets. If you're unsure, always go back to your instructions. You need this part of the magnet to face outwards so that it connects with the metal part that we just screwed on to the doors. Right, so place your screws in the pre-drilled holes and Use your electric screwdriver to fasten them. Step three, find the top panel. This is panel number one. Like I said, if you don't have numbers on your panels, then all you have to do is match up the image to the panel. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna screw in some cam screws. So pro tip, when you're doing cam screws, do them really slowly because that will ensure that you don't damage your board. Next up, we have to create the shelf and connect it to the side panels that have the magnets on them. What I suggest doing is put in your screws already here so that it matches up with the holes already pre-drilled on the shelf. It's now time to start fixing everything to the base. You can see that this is the bottom because this is where the legs go. So we're gonna hold it up like this and bring over our shelf. Pro tip, when you're constructing your unit, the easiest way to know what is the front and what is the back is the front will have a finish on it and the back will be like this. So as we did before, use your screws to fix the pieces together. Now it's time to fix the side panels to the base. As before, use your screws and fix them using the pre-drilled holes. Now using the pins label D, fix the door to the unit. It's now time to use the cam locks. These are gonna fix the top to the unit. When putting them in, make sure the little gap faces up. Now it's time to fit the top. You're going to align your cam screws with the pre-drilled holes. Now that everything is in place and aligned, it's time to lock it up. Now
Now that the unit is complete, it's time for the backboard and the legs. All right, now it's time to use a hammer to fix the backboard to the unit. One leg done. When doing this, you first need to screw in your base plate and then the legs. The TV stand is perfectly leveled and I am absolutely thrilled. For more inspiration, go to Builders website. You can also shop online or in store. Get to Builders, get it done.